guys, I have a strange feeling we're being watched. Nonsense! My super sense would have tipped me off. What a loser. I'm glad he's not my cousin, Wingman. That was one heck of a bachelor party, wasn't it? Ah, it was indeed. I haven't done an all-nighter in many a year. Yeah, who knew Denny was open 24 hours? Huh, that was a breakfast fit for a king. No matter what anyone else says about that lackluster and uneventful and quite frankly forgettable bachelor party, I declare it a total success after enjoying that short stack, side of sausage links, and whole wheat toasted grape jelly. Well done, my feathered friend. No, oh, it was nothing, Wingman. <laughs> hey, I paid for breakfast, Erwin. It's Wingman, Billy. Uh, splash. And why do you always have to try to steal a spotlight? Peregrine Falcon left the tip. Yeah, he left two washers, some lint, an old cough drop. Cheaper's Wingman. I make a better sidekick than that Peregrine guy there who has no superpowers in a dumb wooden spoon. Hey! Leave the wooden spoon out of this. That just happens to be my trademark. Yeah, Billy, uh, Splash, there's really no need to attack Peregrine Falcon and his dumb wooden spoon, is there? Not at the night we just had. Now, perhaps you should go home. I suppose you're right. Can I at least go inside and use the bathroom? No. Well, actually, yes. This gives us a chance to do the hero's walk. You mean it? I can walk with you guys? Well, you really need more than two people in a hero's walk. Otherwise, it's just two guys walking in slow motion. I'm ready whenever you are, Wingman. Now, how should we do this? Well, I... I should be in the middle, so... <clears throat> and I think I should be on your right side because I'm your right-hand man, right? Well... All right, yeah. Whatever. Just tell me where to stand. Let's do this thing. <laughs> That was awesome, Wingman. Ah. Gentlemen, I've never felt so alive before in my entire life. If that mediocre at best bachelor party taught me anything, it's that I'm a free man with no responsibilities. It's time Wingman flew the coop for good. What are you saying, Wingman? Well, I am a mature adult, right? Yes. And I am a superhero, aren't I? You can say that again. There's only one clear-cut decision to make then. I am running away from home. Again. You mean it? Darn right. Come on, let's go inside, where no one will ever think to look for us. <laughs> oh no. This can't be good. Well, I thought I'd find you here. Mom, I'm not coming home with you. Well, we're certainly not moving in with him. We? Cheetah Girl, I think there's been a mistake here. What mistake? I don't make mistakes. I am always right, never wrong. I like things my way. And now what was it that you were saying? I, nothing. See, that's better. That's the wingman that I love. Can I say something? Go ahead, wingman. Tell Cheetah Girl what you were telling me outside. Uh, what? You know, the whole speech about flying the coop? Uh... I'd like to hear all about this. I'm waiting. And I don't like to be kept waiting. Just a quick word or two. Cheetah girl, I like the way you speak to my son. He needs that. Don't worry, wingman's mom. I'll always talk to him that way. Holy nightmare. Hey, that's my line, wingman. I really need to say something. I... What? what? Can I squeeze why I really gotta go? Oh, 
sidekick. Whatever. Hey, Mom, what's going on here? Why, why is a minister here? Well, Cheetah Girl and I thought it was important that you go through marriage counseling. But before the wedding? I can't believe my ears. Well, I'll admit that that's not a good sign. But it's important that you two sort out your bit differences before marriage so you can come to some place in the middle. Well, it doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. It could be more towards one side than the other, uh, perhaps towards Cheetah Girl's side. So that you two love birds, uh, love cats, um, cats come to appreciate each other's differences and what you can bring to marriage. Do you have to say that word, Reverend? Oh, where are my manners? Er, wingman, this is Reverend Dennis Wheaton. He's the Reverend down at the Metropolitan Church of Christ. It's nice to meet you, wingman. I, I wish I could say the same, Reverend, but I'm afraid you've driven a long way for nothing. Because I, I am not going to marry Cheetah Girl. Way to set the record straight, wingman, woohoo! Wingman is moving in with me, and we're going to fight crime together. Whether you like it or not, Wingman's mom. Aren't we, Wingman? Oh, yeah? I'll tear you from limb to limb, bird boy. Hey, our first call to the man cave! Oh, this is awesome. Uh, should I answer it? Yes. It could be the chief of police, Reginald Longbone. This could be our first case. Who is it? Well, who is this? If you ever want to see that autograph again, you listen very carefully. I know your true identity, Erwin Kazaransky. Zerwinski, what a dummy. It's wingman, you mean wingman. What is it that you want? I bought it from my older sister for five bucks. So let's say it will be five million dollars. Holy blackmail, wingman. We can't come up with that kind of cash. Diabolical. Listen, you fiend. I'll be in touch, Erwin, to tell you where the drop-off will be. <laughs> Who was that? It wasn't another girl, was it? It was a <coughs> wrong number. Erwin, may I have a word with you in the kitchen? Uh, I, well, I... I suppose. Don't do it, Wingman. She's more powerful than the evil mind reader, the hypnotist. Nothing's going to change my mind, old chump. Don't worry. I'm a, I'm, I'm a free man. I've got no response. Erwin, now! Yes, mother. Erwin, you will marry that girl. Do you hear me? I, well, it's not like we have to get married. I mean, I've never laid a hand on her. We've never even gone out on a date. Understand? I don't think you do. Yes. You need to get a job so you can afford to take that poor girl out to a nice restaurant. Oh. Mom, I love another girl. You do? Well, who is she? She's the girl you saw leaving here the other day. Well, what about Cheetah Girl? Cheetah Girl is a horrible, horrible person. Uh, uh, she'll understand. No, 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 it's too late. The invitations have already been sent out. Oh, they have? Yes. Well, go darn it. I guess I'll have to go through with it, won't I? I'm afraid so. I'm, I'm sorry if I would have known sooner. Well, let's get you married. Uh, how do you think Cheetah Girl will look in white? I don't think we've been formally introduced. I'm Splash. Touch me and you die. Well, Wingman, did you tell your mom there is no way you're going to marry that feline floozy? Hey! Yes, I told her. So the wedding's still on. Yes, it is. Hey, wait! Mom. I will marry Cheetah Girl, but first, there's one very important thing I have to do. And what is that? Put every last villain in this city behind bars. That could take years! Way to go, Wingman! Maybe, maybe not Wingman's mom. I happen to know where every supervillain will be in this fair town this Saturday night. You, you do? do? Yes. 
It's the annual evil convention. I'll give you directions. Show up at nine, do your thing. We'll get married and settle down and have five to six kids. You have to stop bowling and fighting crime, of course. So you have time for doing the dishes, cleaning, and well, having a job, of course. It's the perfect fairy tale ending. Th that's wonderful news. Simply wonderful. Leave all the arrangements to me. Well, we, d we don't have anything else here to talk about. I see you two are clearly in love. Love? Yeah, 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 love. <laughs> Nothing stands in our way. I better get that. Oh, hi. Hi, wingman. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. I just saw that you were home and I thought I'd stop by and say hello. I made you some cookies. They're your favorite. I read it in the newspaper. Uh, who is this? Who is she? No, she's... She's... Oh, 